the test results came back, and I'm sorry to say you're HIV positive. What? If you or someone you care about were diagnosed HIV positive, there are some important things you should know that can mean the difference between life and death. I'm Lee Evans. I won two Olympic gold medals, held the world record in three different events, and am a member of both the USA Olympic Hall of Fame and the USA Track and Field Hall of Fame. I'm very proud of these accomplishments. But today, I'm not proud of the way our government is scaring a lot of people by telling them they are HIV positive based on very unreliable tests that have been proven to be wrong in many cases. For example, it doesn't matter whether the HIV test is a blood test or a urine test or a saliva test. It is not a test for AIDS. And even though it's called an HIV test, it is not a test for HIV. It's a test that's supposed to find antibodies to HIV. But in virtually every other case, having the antibodies to a virus means that we're immune from the disease that it could cause. That's the theory behind vaccinations, like a flu shot or the measles vaccine. And there's no scientific study to prove that having the antibodies to HIV should be any different. The bigger problem is that these tests are not specific or unique for HIV antibodies. And scientific studies show that as many as 90% of the positive test results can be wrong. These are called false positives. You can get a false positive, for example, if you had a recent flu shot or tetanus shot before taking the HIV test, or had a cold at the time, or had hepatitis or herpes sometime in your life. Even past pregnancies can cause a false positive. In fact, there are over 50 scientific studies that have found more than 70 conditions that could cause a false positive HIV test result. That's why the manufacturers of the HIV test kits include a printed disclaimer in every package that says that the tests are not designed to determine the presence or absence of HIV. You and I are never shown these test inserts, but Dr. Rodney Richards, who worked for the company that designed some of these tests, has this to say. Millions of people take tests that are referred to as HIV tests. However, the idea that there is a laboratory test that can determine whether or not a person is infected with the virus is simply an illusion. The FDA has never approved a test kit that claims to be used uh, for the purpose of diagnosing HIV infection. To make matters worse, the same blood sample was sent to 19 different laboratories and came back with 19 different HIV test results. In another example, one blood sample was sent to the same laboratory 44 different times and they got the results wrong on more than 40% of the tests. And there are at least 10 different ways to interpret an HIV test depending on where you live in the world, whose standards are used to interpret your test, and what information you give about your life and health history. Some people have gone from being HIV positive to being HIV negative just by moving to a different location or by changing laboratories or testing sites or giving different information about their potential risk factors. The point is that anyone who has tested HIV positive should be very skeptical because chances are that their test results were wrong. Please ask questions and get a second opinion especially before deciding to take the HIV drugs many doctors are recommending. Even the AIDS establishment admits that the side effects of these drugs are killing more HIV positives than AIDS itself, mainly from liver failure. And one recent scientific study involving 22,000 patients showed that the drugs prescribed today are even worse than the ones given 10 years ago. So I urge you to visit helpforhiv.com where you'll find a lot of information and answers to your questions, along with all the scientific studies that you can read for yourself. I'm Lee Evans, wishing you good health and great hope. If you or someone you care about were diagnosed HIV positive, please visit helpforhiv.com, where you can see for yourself that the test results could easily be wrong. It truly is a matter of life or death.